Thank you, America. I knew you had good taste. You just voted for the greatest president in history. And believe me, nobody's happier than me, except maybe Chris Dallas and Celebrity Recreations. They've been spreading the word, showing the truth. And folks, if you haven't seen their work, what are you doing with your life? Chris, you're a true patriot. America thanks you. But folks, I've got a little unfinished business. You know, some people out there, celebs, the big names, said they'd leave the country if I won again. And now, the people want to know, should I let him go or keep him here for more winning? Huh? What do you think? All right, let's start with one of my favorites. Madonna. She said she'd leave if I became president. And I thought, fine by me. But wait, folks, where would she go? Sweden? She'll be running out of fake accents in no time. Should we let her leave? Or should we make her stay and write songs about the new America? And then there's Cher, good old Cher. She promised she'd be out of here faster than you can say, believe. Well, Cher, the people have spoken. Should we pack her up and ship her out? Maybe get her a one-way ticket to, I don't know, Mars? Elon, you got room on the next SpaceX flight? And what about Whoopi Goldberg? Oh, Whoopi, she's been a big critic. Said she'd leave, but she's still here. I say, maybe a vacation on an island with no TV? Give her time to appreciate me a little more. How does that sound? And of course, Robert De Niro. That guy, so angry. Talks a big game, folks. Wanted to punch me, and yet here he is, didn't even leave. I say, should we let Bobby out? Send him off to Italy, maybe, with a little espresso and some opera? Get him out of here! Get out! Who's with me? Now, where was I? Right, the celebs who just couldn't wait to pack their bags. Let's see who's next. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Remember her? Said she'd be gone if I ever won. I'm thinking maybe a quiet little island somewhere where she can party in the USA all by herself. What do we think? Let her go? And then we've got Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, he's one angry guy, right? Said he'd leave the country, but he's still here. Get him out of here! Get out! Samuel... How about we get you a role in a new movie, Escape from America? You play yourself running from all the winning. Get him out. Ready? Are you ready? Get him out of here. Get the hell out of here. Next on the list, Alec Baldwin. This guy's done more impressions of me than anyone. He said he couldn't live in my America. Well, Alec, maybe it's time for a one-way ticket to Canada. Just think your career could take off there. Maybe they'll give you an award for all those impressions. Ready? Are you ready? Get him out of here! Get the hell out of here! And then we've got Chelsea Handler. She's been talking about moving for years. Chelsea, sweetheart, we can even arrange a Handler Express if you'd like. You can broadcast live from anywhere but here. Oh, and how could I forget George Clooney? So classy, right? Always talks about Europe. Get him out of here! Get out! I say, why not start a new life in Italy? Just imagine, folks, George sipping espresso waving from his little balcony while America keeps winning without him. Get him out. Ready? Are you ready? Get him out of here! Get the hell out of here! We've got a long list, folks. So many names, but I'll stop there for now. We could go on all night. But the message is clear. Here's the deal. The choice is simple. These celebs can either join the winning side or we'll just let them go, one by one. Give them a taste of that freedom they said they wanted. America doesn't beg. America moves forward with or without them. And to Chris Dallas and Celebrity Recreations, you've made this journey unforgettable. You're the unsung heroes of the campaign. People, if you haven't checked out Chris's work, do it now. Subscribe, share, comment. Chris, the future is brighter with you out there. And before I go, I've got one last thing for all of you. Chris Dallas just put out a winning anthem, a real masterpiece. It's called America Rise, the November 5th winning March song. Folks, it's already blowing up. Over 107,000 views in just a few days. It's the sound of victory. People are loving it. So please check out the music video Chris created and tell me it's not one of the best rock songs you've heard in years. And who knows, you might hear it at my inauguration as America's new anthem. Chris has made quite a few incredible songs, mostly about me, but others too. And they're all awesome, so go have a listen. And to the thousands in the comments section who've asked him for the uncompressed music file in WAV format, well, he's releasing it along with many of his other songs too. It's coming to Spotify, iHeart, iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and dozens of other platforms. You'll be able to download them for just 99 cents each. And believe me, folks, Chris's time is worth that measly dollar. So please support him and buy the song. 
He's done so much for me on all his channels, and I know his content impacted a lot of voters because his stories were kick-ass. He told the truth. What he shared over the years was never covered by your local fake news, so I'm sure his work helped many undecided voters lean my way. Oh, and one final thing for now. Remember what I promised a few months ago? I said that if I were elected, I'd put a stop to the war in 24 hours, right? Well, guess what? Look at this. What does it read? Hamas calls for immediate end to war after Trump election win. And that was just the other day, November 6th, right after my win, just as promised. So don't listen to the leftist fake media and the naysayers, folks. I'm going to be your president for you. Not for me, but for you, the American people. Why would I want to do this? I'm in my late 70s now, and anyone else in my shoes with my wealth would have chosen retirement on a beach somewhere over all the bullshit I had to put up with. So ask yourself, why would I do this? There's only one answer, because I love America and the American people. I want to make this country as great as it was before I left office. I care. I'll be everyone's president. And let the fake media and those stupid late-night morons call me Hitler. That's the small brain they've got working. But now, tell me this. Why couldn't Biden pull his head out of his ass and do the same thing I just did? Because they don't care about you, folks. They couldn't give two shits about you. It's all a facade they put on for the public. That's all it was. Now, enough talk. Let's celebrate this win. Should we cue some music, maybe a little dance? This is our America, folks. Thank you. And let's keep making it the best. Oh, darn. I almost forgot, folks. There's one more person I need to thank. Someone who's been in my corner long before I ever ran for office. This guy has been a true supporter from day one, standing up for the truth when the fake media wouldn't. He's brought humor, insight, and a little fire to every story he shared, and I know he's impacted a lot of people along the way. You all know him as the creative force behind Dual Ped and Celebrity Re Creations. Chris Dallas! Chris, get out here. Let me congratulate you personally for all your hard work and dedication. You've been a warrior for free speech, a true patriot, and one of the best storytellers I know. You didn't just support me. You supported the American people by making sure they heard the truth. So come on out, my friend, and let's give you the recognition you deserve. Thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor beyond words. You know, I started celebrity recreations to tell stories that the media wouldn't touch to bring out the real spirit of America and to support a man who I knew would stand up for us all. Watching you fight for this country has been inspiring, and to be a small part of that journey, sharing the truth, has meant the world to me. And to everyone watching, thank you for your support and for standing with us. It's because of you that I could keep going. So let's keep sharing the truth, keep fighting the good fight, and keep America strong. Thank you, Mr. President, for the honor, and thank you, America. And yes, as of today, the music videos I've created are now available on nearly every major platform that offers music iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, and more. Now you can enjoy the tunes you love wherever you are, even in your car. I made this happen because there was an overwhelming number of requests in the comments, so I wanted to deliver. That's it for now, folks, but make sure to stay tuned. Coming up next, I've got a very special My Cousin Vinny video you won't want to miss. Vinny's got an update on what's in store for President Trump regarding the charges against him. And believe me, it's a must watch. So hit that notification bell to stay informed. You won't want to miss this one. Vinny's the best damn lawyer out there, and he'll bring you the real story, not the version the fake media wants you to hear. If you're new here, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I think President Trump and I deserve at least that. Once again, Thank you to all my incredible subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you for being part of this channel. I promise to keep bringing you stellar content and won't let you down. Thanks again, everyone. President Trump and I are out of here.